Welcome back friends and colleagues, I'm Nadav Hexelman and today I'm going to show you how we start creating our decal spline placer. Our spline is going to place the decals along its path and first thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to make sure that our spline is always uh, stuck to the surface. So we don't need to automatically change its height, it's going to stick to the surface automatically. So let's create it first. I'm going to right click here, go to blueprint and I'm creating a new actor. We're going to call this actor spline decal placer. That's the name I've chosen. I'm going to right click here and uh, sorry, just click here on add component and type spline. And we're going to bring a spline uh, component and we're going to call it the same spline decal placer. And a spline, as you can see, is just a line. Okay, that has points along it. Now we have two points. Uh, there's a point here we cannot see. I can make this ball a little smaller by clicking here and uh, just lowering the billboard uh, size. And you see here on our spline, we have two points and I can add points by clicking on a point I wanna add from and Alt, holding Alt and clicking again and again. And as you can see, it generates, generates a path automatically along those lines and I can change the settings of each line to make it a constant or a curve or whatever I want to do. And we can use this line and the points information to uh, draw meshes or uh, make our AI uh, walk along it. We can use this information for a lot of cool things. In our case, we're just going to put decals along its path automatically. So we're going to use the construct construction script for that. Uh, the construction script is a script that is run before the game is started, while we're in the editor, like so. We're going to write the code here because we want to change dynamically um, our spline, our uh, decals, as we are editing our map, as we are uh, creating our uh, environment, and not while playing the game. We want to do it before we're playing the game, as we are uh, creating. And first, uh, first off, we're going to create now we're going to make sure that the spline is stuck to the ground. Okay, so I'm going to grab my spline decal that we just created, the reference, all right? It's actually this thing, okay, as a, as a reference, as a variable. And um, I'm going to, um, we're going to, what, what do we want to do? We're going to take all the points along this spline. Let's say if we add more points, it's going to do that for us. We're going to take all the points along the spline and we're going to ray trace, we're going to check um, the surface below it. And if we find a surface below it, we're going to tell it the point that we found the surface below to stick to that surface. That's what we're going to do in our construction suit. So first of all, we want to see how many points we have because we want to do uh, a loop that will go through all the points, point after point, and stick it to the ground. So let's do that. Um, first of all, out of spline decal placer, I'm just going to drag out and write get points uh, number, get number of spline points. This will give me the number of uh, the points I have in my spline. Now it will give me two. Um, if I add one more, it will give me three, and etc. etc. What's important to understand here that the first point of the spline number is not uh, one, it's actually zero. So this is point zero, this is point one. If I click on this, you can see, if I drag, sorry, click the point, you'll see here under input key, it says one. So this is point one and this is point zero. So the first point in our spline, it's zero and not one. It's important to remember that because in our construction script, when we do our loop, let's right click our loop. We want our loop to go from zero, from the first point, right, zero, to the end point, which is uh, this number, but minus one, right? Because think about it if we have two points, the second point is actually one. The value is one. It's two minus one because this is zero. So we want to do this from zero to, um, in this case, it's gonna be one, which means two times. It's gonna do 
one time for zero and the second time for one, which is the second point. So this is important. Um, when you input the numbers using the splines, it's like with arrays, you need to um, increment one from, uh, uh, take one out of the number of splines that you are uh, plugging into the loop. So this is how our loop is going to work. It's going to go through all the spline points. And now um, let's create the ray trace. So I'm going to um, right click here and type ray trace, uh, sorry, line trace by channel. And we are checking for visibility in our case. And we can connect this. And we are trying to first um, understand from where we are checking. Okay, so we want to shoot a ray down from our spline and to find the ground. And we can shoot the ray straight from the point, but we can also uh, give ourselves a little bit of tolerance. Maybe we want to shoot that ray slightly above the point just to make sure that it always snaps down uh, to the ground correctly. So let's find the that point and give it the slight offset along the Z, the Z axis. So in order to do that, I'm just going to drag my spline again, and I'm going to uh, just type here, find location, sorry. Uh, let's see, get location at spline point. Okay, we're looking for the location. And you're seeing it, you see it returns a vector. We want to find this location in world space. And the point index, this means which point are we checking right now, we're going to connect to the index. So in the first time, it's going to be zero. So it's the first point. Second time is going to be one. Okay, it's going to be the second point, which is one. And vice. And this continues as we add more points to our spline. So we can just connect here uh, the start position like that. But actually, I want to uh, split this truck because um, I do want to get the uh, the, the X and the Y are the same, but as you remember, I want to add a slight offset to the Z value of, from where I'm starting the check. So I want this, the check to start slightly above uh, the spline point and going down. So I have more, um, so it's, uh, it's a bigger chance that I can hit the ground. And if I change uh, the spline dynamically, it's always going to um, have a better uh, idea of where the surface is. So I'm going to right click here and, and say make vector. Um, make back vector, excuse me. And we are reconstructing this vector. We're doing the same X, the same Y, but Z, we're going to just add, let's say, uh, 100. Okay. And actually, what we can do, it's even smarter. We can um, just drag out of here and promote this to a variable and call this um, decal. Um, snap threshold fresh hold um, hope I'm um, writing correctly threshold and um, so now we have a new vector here which is our and we hit compile of course and as you can see the threshold is on uh, 100 because that's the value we had here in the beginning and now we're getting the location of the spline point we're checking currently plus 100 on the z axis which would just make it higher a little bit 100 units so this is where we are starting our trace from now let's find the end of our line trace i want the end of the line trace to be also um, the same amount as the decal snap threshold but uh, downwards on the z-axis. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. Of course, connect the index. And here, instead of adding 100 or adding the decal snap threshold, I'm going to actually um, decrement it by the same amount. Okay, so instead, instead of adding it, I'm subtra uh, subtracting it. And also I'm connecting it here to the end. And we can actually, if we are setting our uh, debug here for duration, and I went with two seconds, we can already start to see how our trace is working. Okay, so you see our points are tracing and it's working nicely. It's checking from uh, 100 above that point to 100 below that point. And you see the 
found, see the red rectangles, uh, it means that it found, uh, the red squares, it means that it found uh, something there, a surface that we can use this information to snap to. So let's do that. Now, um, out of my line trace by channel, I'm just going to type here, and I'm going to grab my spline again, and type set location at spline point. Connect this. Again, we need the spline point here from out of the index. Okay, so remembering our loop, this loop goes through all the points on our spline, and we need to get the index of the current point to put it here in point index. So this function knows which point it needs to affect. And I'm just going to drag out of hit, out hit location. So if you don't have this open, I'm just going to hit recombine. You probably see this like this. Uh, but if you can, if you right click on out hit and do split struct pin, you'll get all the results of the uh, out go out hit of the, the line trace. And I can take the out hit location, connect it here too, and set this to world. So I'm getting um, the information of where my line trace uh, hit a surface and tell this function to set that point to that uh, location at the surface that it found. One last thing I need to do here to make sure everything is running correctly, uh, there might be a chance um, that I don't find the surface below the line trace, that it doesn't hit anything. So I need to add here by holding B and clicking a new branch that says only set the location of the spline point if the out hit is true. So this returns true if we hit anything. Okay, and if it's true, it's gonna set it. Okay, we hit compile again. And last, last thing we need to do um, is to go to a spline decal placer. And here under input uh, spline points to construction script, it's very important that we tick this on. This gives, gives us the ability to update our spline from the editor. Okay, so you see we have points now and we can add more points. And as you can see, I am adding them and they are snapping to the surface below them automatically. Okay, let's just um, stop the debug draw here to none. Okay, and see it snaps down um, to the surface, no problem. And it's working great. Very nice. Just gonna quickly here, um, I add a sequence here in the beginning. So I just right clicked here and said sit and write sequence and connected here because I want it to be in order, everything to be in order and readable. I'm gonna comment this, I'm gonna type um, snap spline point to surface. So I know what this portion of my code is doing. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Next video, I'm going to show you how to generate the decals along the spline. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me if you want to support my work and see the next video. Hope to see you soon.